Hello and welcome to this installment of Talking Trim. I'm Jonathan Skinner and today we are looking at the B-Post storage boxes for the Austin Healey BN6 and BN7. Uh, so yeah, a bit of a, a strange one. This is not particularly clear what they're really kind of called or referred to. Uh, B-Post boxes, hood storage boxes. Basically on the two-seater BN6, BN7s, we're talking about the part at the bottom of the B-Post just there in the corner that basically some of the hood frame mounted down into. Um, so that's what we're talking about. And what we've got here is we've got the retrim kit that we su normally supply either individually as a retrim kit or as part of the trim panel kit. And then we've also got an example of a trimmed up unit and the hardware um, if you needed replacements, actual boxes. So what you get as part of the retrim kits is normally vinyl. Uh, can also supply in leather and we can skive this down if you are doing leather so this is part you get a pair of these normally and this is normally part of the trim panel kit or we can just sell them individually and then part of the carpet set is you get a couple of pieces of this carpet here this has been done in honey wool and the vinyl is ferrari beige now you can see on the vinyl we actually do make some cuts automatically for you that help you line it all up this is one of those um b post boxes and it sits in the car as so um obviously mounted to the car on the side etc then you get this wooden piece that slots in now you can see i've just drawn on here effectively how it gets trimmed if i superimpose that over the top there so it's effectively lined up there you've got a flap as you can see, let me turn that round. You got a flap there, a flap up there, and then this gets tucked round and cut and tucked through. And you end up with this, which looks very nice. For such a small piece, quite a lot of work goes into the trimming, but it does look very nice, as you can see here. Very pedantic about the way we trim things. We like everything to look neat, even if it's not necessarily on show when it's in the car. So you can see it's a lovely job done by my trimmer very experienced with these bits and bobs so that's how it should be looking that's that's the benchmark as of all of these things we like to set a benchmark but uh, feel free to uh, outdo us we don't mind uh, but as long as you're getting a bare minimum of that so that's what you should be looking for there so just to go over um, we supply the material as standard either loose kits or as part of the trim panel kit all of these elements here are sold as optional extras often you can find you can reuse your old ones carpets part of the carpet set but obviously if you're just ordering those on their own do let us know and we can throw some carpet in for you but it's obviously crucial that it matches the rest of your carpet set keep that in mind but then yeah the trimming process uh, we've got lots of photos that we can show you obviously this video is pretty helpful it's worth noting as well these here often need a bit of shaving down to get them to fit in uh, nice and snugly you want them to basically be kind of forced in there but once they're in there they're not going to move at all. So just bear that in mind. Um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, see our website for more details. And uh, please do like, subscribe and share with other classic car enthusiasts. Till next time. Cheers.